and welcome to Mr EO's Maths Mastery. I'm here to show you how we teach maths here at Whitestone to help you help your child. We're going to go deeper now with the calculations when we're adding and subtracting and we're crossing over the tens boundaries. So we're going to look at the calculation 18 add 16 to equal 34. And to help them to see where it all comes from, we go back to using the concrete. So I've got my numicon here where I've got my 18, add my 16. We add our tens just like we did before when we've partitioned them. And then we add our eight and we add the six. And as we do that, we see that that looks just like the 10 already full with four left over. So now I've got that 14. So you can see there, I've got 10, 20, 30, and four, 34. Similarly, I can use the tens frame to help me as well. I've got my 18, I've got my 16. I simply add these and straight away I'm seeing that's a full tens frame. So I've got 34. And I can do it with the deans as well, using my tens. 18, add 16, add my tens together, add some of my ones together and I'm seeing, oh, I've got a full stick of 10 there. So I can exchange that as well into a stick of 10 to make 30 and four. Then we write it down how we've done it. We've done 10, add 10 to make our 20. And we did eight, add six to make our 14, to make it 34 in total. Once we've done the addition, we start looking at the subtraction the opposite way. And we're going to try 34, subtract 16 to make 18. And we're going to use the 10 frame to help us. There's my 34, it's all still here. I'm subtracting 16, so I'm going to subtract 10 to start off with. And then I'm going to subtract four more out of here. And then I'm going to have to take away two more to so make sure I've taken away 16 totally. I'm going to move them over to this one. So you can see I've taken away that 16 and been left with 18 here. And similarly, I can do it here with my deans. And that's when we've got 34. I want to subtract 16. I'm going to take away a stick of 10 because that's easy. And then I want to take away six. One, two, three, four. Uh, I can't do this. So I can exchange that 10 stick of 10 into 10 ones, and then I can easily take away one, two, three, four, five, six. I can take those away to leave me with my 18. But that's not all. Sometimes with the subtractions, we need to look at when the numbers, we need to look at what they look like. So if I've got here 21 subtract 18, which equals three, I don't want to do the same methods that I've done here. In fact, finding the difference is a lot easier and a lot quicker to just see that actually, if I'm just jumping on from 18 to 21, it's only three more jumps. Okay, at the end of the video, just remember that I've shown an overview of the strategies used throughout your child's whole time here at Whitestone. Children are not expected to achieve all of this in one year, but work through the different strategies when they are ready to do so. They may understand one strategy more than another and are encouraged to choose which one works for them best or which is most appropriate for the calculation. Thank you for watching.